Yeah, so to, to, to boil it down, there's, the skin can produce lots of different lesions, a bit like your garden can grow lots of different plants and some weeds. And our skin can grow lots of different things on them. Most of the things that appear on our skin are harmless, but some things are not, and those would be what we would call a skin cancer. And the different types of skin cancer could be broadly divided into melanoma, that's the one that's more worrying, but luckily it's not the most common, and non-melanoma skin cancer. Non-melanoma is a whole load of other diagnoses and those are the vast majority of the skin cancers we see and those ones we're most at risk of so we park melanoma just for a second the non-melanoma ones the vast majority of things called a basal cell carcinoma or bcc for short and a squamous cell carcinoma or scc and there are various other ones that are quite rare uh, which can also form on the skin but these tend to be rare and tend to be seen as small pops small cohort of the population so if we go back to melanoma melanoma that is a cancer of the melanocyte so what's a melanocyte that is a cell in your skin that produces the pigment that produces our tan and within our skin you have melanocytes that behave normally and when they behave abnormally and that's usually from damage from sun rays breaking the DNA within that cell, breaking its its mechanism, if you like, its clockwork, and then it misbehaves and it populates and it grows out of control, and then it will turn into a tumor or a cancer. And then as that grows and grows, that can become a melanoma. Now, a melanoma is where a cancer can then spread from the skin to other parts of your body. And if it's not caught early, it can be fatal. So those are the ones we worry about the most. Yeah, okay. And I don't know how old these statistics are here, but I think whenever I put this together, it was an old junior assignment mm. around me from years ago. Um, but I think at the time, melanoma was about 16,000 diagnosed each year in the UK. That's Yeah, I mean, it'd be higher now. Those data's usually from sort of like five, 10 years out. Okay. Yeah, so the incidence is only increasing. Right. And then I think non-melanoma, just to, to offer a comparison, was about 147,000, I think. Yes, it, yeah. And although melanoma was much less, I think if you exclude non-melanoma, I think at the time of, of pulling this together, it was the second commonest um, cancer I think in adults in the 50 I believe is that sound about right yeah sounds about right so it's 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 um it accounts for probably one percent of all cancers melanoma um it's it's up there in you know common cancers sadly in young people mm. uh, although the vast majority of people who get a melanoma and die from a melanoma tend to be in the elderly uh, but yeah it is increasing and, and that is a reflection on society and our behavior yeah all right good and other than those those three are technically I guess with the two normal anomas mm. are there any others or is that pretty much it in regard to what the, we typically see those are the most common ones the other, there are some odd ones we can get sarcoma of the skin you can get a lymphoma of the skin you can get malignancies of hair follicles uh, but the, these tend to be diagnosed having had the lesion removed as opposed to what you're looking out for, for but for um, for us what we'll need to be looking for our skin realistically is the changing mole yeah. is the melanoma that's the one we, we really try and drive the message home in public health campaigns is check your skin looking for the new mole of a changing mole 